A Gaps and Needs Analysis, or GNA, is a consultation of partners made through interviews conducted by the Logistics Cluster. Partners from HQ, regional bureaus, and country of operations are consulted in this exercise. In this short video, we will walk through the main steps of this analysis and see how your contribution can help make it an efficient joint advocacy effort. The objective of the GNA exercise is to understand the situation in a specific context or country and the associated logistics constraints in order to tailor the type of logistics support that might be requested by the humanitarian community for the response. It is conducted to fulfill one of three types of scenarios to assess the need for a logistics coordination mechanism, to define or redefine the logistics cluster's current strategy, or to deactivate the logistics cluster. To do this effectively, the GNA must understand the following four elements of the response. Your organization's program and response activities, your organization's available logistics capacities, the logistics needs and constraints experienced by your organization, and potential logistics challenges that you see might impact operations. The gaps and needs analysis will then analyze the information provided by the different partners consulted during the interviews to identify logistics gaps or bottlenecks and propose suitable solutions. The first piece of information needed for the GNA is an overall vision of the programmatic activities of your organization. To answer, consider the following two questions. In which locations are you operating? And what type of activities are you planning or implementing? Provide as many details as possible to ensure the GNA understands the scope of your programs and the planned response. References to the humanitarian response plan are encouraged if possible. The second element of the GNA zooms into the logistics component of the programmatic and response activities you have just described. It aims to understand what logistics capacities you have available in country. When explaining your supply chain strategy and resources available, please be as specific as possible, mentioning, for example, your procurement system, whether it is national or international or both, your storage and transport plan from the entry points to final delivery points, your contingency fuel stocks, and secondary transport options, amongst others. The third element of the GNA builds a map of the existing logistics challenges through understanding what your organization's extra needs, constraints, and challenges are. The objective behind this is to understand the most critical logistics issues currently affecting the delivery of relief assistance from the point of entry to the final distribution point. For example, you might need extra capacity for a primary road transport, or have limited access to information on local and international providers for selected items. Again, please be as specific as possible. The fourth information gathering aspect of the GNA asks you to identify what the potential upcoming logistics challenges might be if the current situation were to deteriorate. For that, you should consider the possible consequences of current or anticipated restrictions on the logistics plan of your organization. For example, if a lockdown has just been put in place, how might this affect your supply chain? Also, consider potential shortages in suppliers, how and when to gain relevant logistics information, and any other potential risk. The final step of the GNA is analysis. This consists of compiling all of the information provided by each of the partners into a general mapping of common gaps, needs, and bottlenecks. By analyzing this information in detail, the logistics cluster aims to streamline solutions to common challenges amongst actors. The recommendations formulated in the GNA are used as the basis for conducting joint advocacy efforts and to address common logistics challenges together. Your contributions to the gaps and needs analysis are key to ensuring the humanitarian community has the capacity to answer identified needs in the most effective and efficient manner possible.